detecting talc of the day Thursday, May the 7th, 647. <laughs> talk here a little bit about this manic tail on this JS2, okay? Show you this here. Now, you may see this in this camera here because I'm going to talk about one other thing, too. You know, you see that nickel, and there's that old big piece of fall. You got this little piece of fall, and I've got this M8 called All Terrain General. Disc, zero to nine disc. You hear that two way signal on that nickel down there? Now I use that bigger piece of foil to drive my disc setting. Okay, that's a pretty sizable ball of foil there. Now, there is light wires up here. Is that a static EMI source? Well, I don't know. But I have been out here with this machine and the signal goes subpar to practically non-existent. Noise cancel corrected. I can hear aircraft flying around. Okay. See that? Look at that. See that? Went substandard, didn't it? That's noise cancel. I hear it up there. Don't be afraid to frequently noise cancel your machines. You're not going to get a necessarily an audible warning, you know, that something's up, okay? The only way you might see it is what I've done right there. So the manicure with the M8 call, not in that fall, that biggest piece of fall, and that smaller one there is hitting that target, okay? <laughs> We'll turn this thing off. Now, there's people out there that have both the Bun Lab Manicore. Now, maybe they don't have any M8 call. There's a day or two sitting there with a 9 inch call. You know, XP come out with version 1.0 and 1.1 and 2.0. All those versions allow for the use of 24 max frequency. Well, it can give you some advantage on that scenario right there, especially. 40 kilohertz. No matter how you set that DS2 up for speed, silencer. If you set the notch on that thing to 41, what I did with that machine, I set it one point over. To be on the safe side on that bigger piece of fall, I did the same thing with that machine there. I run the notch to 41. 40 max frequency, no matter what speed set, you won't get two-way signal on that nickel. You'll get some intermittent one-way signal. So you might want to use that 24 max frequency if you're out here looking for the gold rings. Mass by fall running like about a 40 notch. Okay. It could expose some of them for you. Even at a 42 notch, it could expose some. It could expose nickels and other things higher conducting. I remember what that nickel reads on this machine. It reads about 64. Okay. But I've only got that machine notched to 41. I've got this machine here notched. I believe it was 8 or 9. And the nickel reads what? About 20 what? 28? All right, don't be afraid to use that 24 max frequency. And by the way, the iron performance with this machine with 24 max frequency is not bad compared to 14 kilohertz. Your coal battery won't be run down as fast with 24 versus 14.
Alright. That's the tip of the day. I hope everybody has a nice day.